Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial video. This one is going to be another Hornet tutorial for um, guided bombs, JDAMs, and GBUs 12, specific, well, GBU 12 and GBU 32 specifically, so we'll do one of each. Um, I'll talk through how you use each one, differences between each one, um, and an example for each in the game, how to use that. Also, I'm sorry that I'm recording this little voice over here while I'm editing, because for whatever reason my recording started later than I I wanted it to a few seconds later and it cut out my intro. So without further ado, we'll get into the video now. Going to be yet another one in the Hornet. Um, guided bombs. So we got a GBU-12 over here, laser guided bomb. Under there we have a GBU-32 JDAM, 1000 pound JDAM. Um, DCS, used, you use it basically in the same way um, with the targeting pod. It's what we're going to be using today. We have an AT FLIR pod under there. Um, and in real life, the difference, I think the GBUs, they'll land within about one meter of exactly where you're aiming at. JDAMs land within about five meters, so slightly less accurate, but still very accurate. Um, but you can use JDAMs in poor weather because you can just set a waypoint, um, enter the coordinates for a waypoint, and then designate that waypoint and then drop a bomb on it without seeing it. You need to be able to see and laze the um, target unless you're being buddy lazed with um gbus with the guy or sorry with laser guided bombs um but we're just going to be lasing our own stuff today um so first thing we're going to do come to active pause here i'll go through controls actually so you'll need air to ground mode that's two on your keyboard set whatever you need to it um you will need gun trigger second detent to fire the laser you will need a weapon release button to release the weapon um you will need TDC, throttle designator, control depress, also up, down, left, and right, or the axis for TDC, um, wherever that is, yep, here. Um, else, what else you're going to need? Um, raid, FLIR, field of view, select um, to toggle your field of views, and radar elevation control up and down to zoom in with the T-Pod. Um... I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, you can also use undesignate um, to undesignate target and to uh, recage your um, targeting pod. But I think that's it. Like I always do, if I forgot something, then I will tell you when we get into it, like I just did, which you're going to need since the control switch right or left um, to, uh, to make your targeting pod soy or sensor of interest. So we'll just get into this here. Um, air to ground mode. We'll do our guided bomb first. One other thing I will say before we do this though, JDAMs, they do have uh, an alignment time because um, they're GPS guide, they have to find satellites, and there's also, I believe, a backup INS guidance system in it. Um, so that takes a couple minutes. Normally you would do that on the boat or at the airfield um, as part of your setup before you take off, just so it's all aligned and ready. But we'll do that in the air. So we'll go to our 82LG, our laser guided bomb mode set this to auto because we're going to be doing straight and level ccrp bombing e-fuse set that to instant um it's kind of self-explanatory instant or delay it'll delay it'll go into the ground before it explodes it's that we're just going to do instant code um actually let's set this to our FLIR first set this to tv uh set that soy with sensor which is sensor control switch right um you can see our codes here uh, 1688, that's the default. You can change them here um, for our designator and our search. So if you're doing um, laser spot track, so if you have a, someone else lasing it, you can turn this on and it'll, um, it'll scan for a laser, but we're not doing that. So we'll just come here, code, press that UFC push button, type in 1688, so make sure you have that colon next to it. Press enter. Now you can see our bomb here is set to 1688. Uh, master arm on. We'll go to waypoint 1 because that's where our first target is. And we'll do waypoint designate as well which will automatically slave our target pod to that. So I'm just there using the um, radar elevation control to zoom in and out there. And you can see we got a couple of contacts there. So we'll unpause this now. 
start flying towards those. It's still like 20 miles out or so. It gives us a good amount of time to get everything squared away. Oh, one other thing I forgot. Um, so these are your FLIR controls. Make sure this is on. Another thing we need, the AI, this is our laser switch to arm our laser. That is important so that you can fire the laser. Um, once you drop the bomb with weapon release button, you are going to press and hold trigger second detent. Um, and there you will see this laser arm will set to, actually we can press trigger. Um, that's, you also need to box that to fire it. Uh, it will switch to, I think, LTD slash R, um, and it'll be blinking. And that's how you know your laser is firing. So we're about a minute out from dropping this bomb. You want to make sure that you're flying nice and level. You want to line your um, velocity vector up on that uh, steering line, the steering course guide line. Oops. What am I even doing? There we go. Sorry. Doing things incorrectly. So we'll just move that over there. Five, four, well, press and hold button release now. See that came off our rail and press and hold trigger second detent. Bomb is gone. And we're gonna make a bit of a turn to the left here and then loop back around just so we don't overfly the target directly. Sorry, I was fiddling with my symbology. I did some misinputs, but it still works. It's basically set to point track now, I think. I don't remember exactly, but it'll do the same thing. That's a shack. Two S60s have been deleted. They're not going to be doing anything anymore. Alright, so we'll select our JDAM now, or J83, GBU38, or which it's JDAM Mark 83, 1000-pound bomb, so it's a GBU32. Set this to target of opportunity, set e-fused instant, um, and now we just have to um, we'll let that align. Actually, it is aligned. So I like to just start that alignment before I use the other bomb, just so that, or well, I would you would do it on the ground before you take off or en route to the target. But if you're in this situation, you can just I set that alignment going so it aligned while we were dropping our other bomb. So now we're all ready to go. So we just want to turn around here. That's my turn right. HFD on. So that's a diamond. You can see where our target is over there. Alright, so you can see we got some vehicles and some infantry there. I think there's a building as well that they're using. So we will deny that of them to them. And we are in zone now. You can see that timer counted down. It says actually I'll pause this just so I can talk and go through things. So the timer would count down, and then once it gets to zero, it says in zone. If you look at our HSD here, oops. Um you can see we have this sort of quarter circle, whatever degree um, that field that we're in now is our zone so we can drop our bomb as long as we're in that which we are so pickle 
palm is away. Do the same thing, same kind of turn over here. We just don't want to overfly our target. That's why we do that. Got out of parameters. That took a while to hit. And it still hasn't. There we go. That's a nice big explosion there with that bounce bomb bomb. The all of our infantry that were there are now low. They're all gone. Vehicles are all smoking. And look back there, you can probably see the smoke over there a little bit. Anyway. Um, hopefully you found that useful, helpful. Um, again, I hope I didn't make it too confusing. It's fairly straightforward. You just got to practice it a little bit um, until you get that muscle memory down for how to do everything. Um, like I said, if you found this useful, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. Um, and don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos, which I'm going to do some more tutorials for this and for some other aircraft and for anything else that comes out, especially the Phantom. I can't wait for that. But anyway, um, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.